What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, January 31st. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the Draft Dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay, let's see who we have at the point guard position. I like Patrick Beverly from the LA Clippers playing the LA Lakers, who are the 8th worst defense overall, and they give up the 13th most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Patrick Beverly has scored 41, 47, and 21 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 20.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 26 minutes per game with a 12% usage rate. Avery Bradley might be out this game, opening up more use for Patrick Beverly, who's been playing monster minutes in the last three games, over 35 minutes per game. Patrick Beverly is 5,300 DraftKings salary. He's 700 more on FanDuel, so I prefer that DraftKings price. Projected at 22.8 fantasy points here tonight, he's gonna need about 26 fantasy points to hit five times value, something he's done in three of the last five games. It's a fast-paced game and a good matchup, so I like Patrick Beverly here versus the LA Lakers. So I just wanted to let everybody know we added projected ownership. It first updates mid-afternoon and then it will be updated throughout the day based on injuries and other information that comes out. So we show the projected ownership right here in the position optimizer so you can see right next to every player what their projected ownership is for the main DFS slate. So now you can easily see who's going to be chalk, who's going to be low owned. This is one of the most important stats you're going to look at to help build your lineups and pick your players. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like Shabazz Napier from the Brooklyn Nets playing the San Antonio Spurs who have a middle of the pack defense overall but they give up the 8th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. Shabazz Napier has scored 42, 35, and 25 fantasy points in his last 3 games, averaging 17.5 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 17 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. Spencer Dinwiddie is still out, so Shabazz Napier has been playing 25 plus minutes and his usage rate has been around 30%. Shabazz Napier is 5,300 DraftKings salary. He's 400 more on FanDuel. Projected at 16.4 fantasy points here tonight. I don't like that projection. I think he scores 25 fantasy points or more here, which will be right around five times value. There's an implied total of 228 points in this game. So that's a high total, pretty good matchup here. I like Shabazz Napier versus the San Antonio Spurs. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Kevin Durant from the Golden State Warriors playing the Philadelphia 76ers. The 76ers have a really good defense, but Kevin Durant has scored 29, 51, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games averaging 49.3 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 35 minutes per game with a 31% usage rate. Kevin Durant is 9,100 DraftKings salary. He's 300 more on FanDuel, projected at 48.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's well over five times value. There's an implied total of 240.5 points in this game. Kevin Durant has scored 44, 49, and 45 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Philadelphia 76ers. So I like his chances to hit value. It's not the best matchup, but it should be a competitive game all the way through the fourth quarter, which means he should get his full run. I like Kevin Durant here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, who do we have at the power forward position? 
I like Aaron Gordon from the Orlando Magic playing the Indiana Pacers, who have the fourth best defense overall, but they give up the fifth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Aaron Gordon has scored 40, 43, and 48 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 33.8 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 34 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. Aaron Gordon is 6,800 DraftKings salary. He's 400 more on FanDuel, projected at 33.9 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. I'll keep picking this guy until he stops performing or his situation changes. I love Aaron Gordon here versus the Indiana Pacers. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Joel Embiid from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Golden State Warriors, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they're also middle of the pack defending opposing centers. Joel Embiid has scored 52 and 64 fantasy points in his last two games. Averaging 54.4 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 33 minutes per game with a 33% usage rate. Joel Embiid is 10,100 DraftKings salary. He's 1,500 more on FanDuel, so I love that DraftKings price. Projected at 51.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's right over five times value. Joel Embiid can go off for 60, 70, 80 points. This is going to be a competitive game. He's probable. He's probably going to be listed as questionable in a game time decision. He left the last game with that back soreness that's been bothering him, but he's had plenty of time to rest. He should be good to go versus this Golden State Warrior team. If the Sixers have any chance here, Joel Embiid's going to have to be a big part of this game, and I think that's going to be the case. So I love Joel Embiid here versus the Golden State Warriors. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.